and dance thing to you. We were both dancing, but we weren't in sync. Yeah, but I didn't I care about your dance, I was doing my own beat. That's just so rude. <laughs> welcome to our kitchen. <laughs> yes, welcome yes. to the Simon Shan cooking show. The Panda Brown cooking show. I like what about that. What about this panda? No, Brown Panda. Brown Panda? The Brown Panda cooking show. Brown Panda cooking show. Oh, yeah. Obviously, you can tell we don't have a name for our cooking show. <laughs> we don't even have a cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> but welcome. <laughs> Basically, we're gonna make some meals for you, or for us. You're not gonna get to eat them, we're gonna eat them, and uh, we're gonna enjoy them. I'm very hungry, so I can't wait to actually get stuck into my food. I'll go first of what I'm gonna make. Yeah, go for it. I wanna make a power bowl, and um, I love, like, literally, it's one of my favorite things to eat. You know, just uh, like my kale, my chicken, uh, shrimp with like, you know, vegetables or like fruit, you know, like, I love them, love them, love them, love them, they're the best thing ever, you know, they cost a bomb though, that's the thing, when you go to a restaurant to buy them, they cost a bomb, they do. so I'm going to make my own, and I'm going to make a lot of them, you know, might not make a lot now, but I've got all the ingredients, we went shopping earlier, mm -hmm. so I've got enough to make me to last like two, three days. Okay guys, so I love burgers, I love hot dogs, all of that stuff, but I'm going to make a healthy alternative, so I'm going to make some turkey burgers. Now this is uh, my go-to recipe if I want just something that's a little bit, feels like a cheat meal but is not a cheat meal basically. So yeah, I'm going to show you that. And then to accompany it, I'm also going to make a little chipotle bowl. So I'm going to mix some nice vegetables together, some whole grain rice, real tasty, something that you want to make quick, something that hasn't got many ingredients. And that's about it, yeah. Sounds good though. <laughs> so, let's get started. Should we get started? Let's do it. Sim is probably just gonna go straight in and start cooking. Yeah, look, let's get this straight. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I cook normal. Like this isn't even, I'm not even gonna cook like I would cook for camera. I'm gonna, I cook very erratic. Um, I don't mm -hmm. time things too well, but hey. But this is why we're cooking different meals because I'm completely different. I like to be organized. I like to have my ingredients out. In the kitchen, I actually have my ingredients on the side. Before I start, I have everything on show. That's what I'm gonna do. Don't you hate when you go to a restaurant and they serve you the shrimp with the tails on? It's like, just take it off, man. I ain't got time. Just take it off. Or with the whole shell on. That's even worse. So I'm going to start it's by... It smells like shrimp sim. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to be up by fishy smells. What? Who do you think I am? No, I don't like it on my hands. Yeah, no. I don't like touching it like what, no, that's, see, that grosses me out. I'm not smelling the shrimp, smelling it on your hands, does. I hope no one's going to be judging my chopping skill. <laughs> Remember when you mocked how I cut the man? I was just about to say, like, guys, I obviously uh, chop the sides of the onion first, and then this. Sim will just take the whole onion while it's like this and start trying to chop it. Yeah. You've done something else really weird as well before. I don't consider, what was it? I don't consider my way of cutting onions weird. To Sim, remind me, you've done something and I was dying. You were dying, but What I done, was it? No, it wasn't this, it was, it was something that, else. It was that, was it, was it this? That, it was that. I was and I still dying. don't get what you were laughing at. Oh my because God. Because I still managed to cut the onion quite fine. Jeez. Thank you very much. So right now I am chopping up my vegetables for my chipotle bowl. I don't know if I'm allowed to call it a chipotle bowl. What I'm gonna mean? call it a cocoa bowl. Oh my God, my eyes are stinging me. I should have put like a, a silver spoon in my mouth. I've actually done it before. Oh my God, I'm gonna start crying. Is it not myth? No, it actually works and I should have done it. What are you doing? Um, seasoning? Yeah, seasoning my shrimp. So guys, when I season, I literally freestyle half the time. I look in the cupboard and I think, mm, what goes well, you know, and then I just go for it. Um, you don't like garlic, do you? Um, okay, I am actually garlic intolerant and I found out that most people are, to be fair. So if you have garlic, guys, and you don't feel good afterwards, it could be a sign. So you're not going to be eating any of this, then? No, garlic, does, it doesn't make me feel good. I love garlic. No. You love making a mess. You like seasoning my vegetables while you were doing yours. <laughs> so right. I just added some chili flakes. I'm about to add some rosemary. Rosemary, just, I love the flavour that rosemary adds to food. Man. Such a strong flavour and distinct flavour as well. Using that as well. Ok. 
Okay, so I've got that. Ah, black pepper. I love black pepper. I add heaps of that. Copious amount of that. Good. I don't think you never have too much black pepper. Mm -hmm. Sham would disagree. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Some savoury spices. So, right now, guys. Um, yes, me. Oh, you're, no, you're a star chef. You're absolute you star chef. Fantastic. <laughs> Much appreciated. Okay, so I have my turkey burgers, guys. The turkey. Lean turkey. Um, in my last video where we go food shopping, I tell you about why I choose turkey. It's lean, uh, less fat, more protein, all that good stuff. So you can have it guilt free. Now I'm lazy and I actually got the patties already uh, ready made. This is real life, this is what I would do. <laughs> However, you can get turkey mince and you can make this yourself. So I've got one egg. And I also have some breadcrumbs that I've already prepared. Now in these, I have put some thyme as well. So it's lightly seasoned and crushed up. This is optional to put on your patties. You can just have them as they are. If you are making them homemade with the turkey mince, then beat the egg and the breadcrumbs together and mix it all into the same and then roll it. All right, so I've uh, seasoned my shrimp. I'm gonna put that to the side. And I'm gonna season some sh chicken. Some Chick chicken. Some chicken. Thanks. I think that's a combination of shrimp and chicken shrinking. But yeah, I'm gonna, what are you doing? This is, what I look like, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna season some chicken now. I bought a thin sliced chicken. So, you know, it's gonna cook easier and quicker on the grill, as opposed to a thick chicken breast, which sometimes takes ages to cook. All right, so I'm adding my breadcrumbs to the egg mix. There we go. Whole grain bread, by the way, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So who's going first? Because I need the goo as well. This is awkward, isn't it? That's rock, paper, scissors, who goes first. Okay, you, he don't always do, Don't cheats. try it, Yeah. Sam. So you guys can be my witness, uh-huh. If he, this is the rule, we go one, two, three, and then do it. One, two, three, and do it, all right? You got it? One, two, three, and do it, all right. One, two, three. I no, will. you cheated. I Please. Will. No, 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 no. What he does, yeah, he watches and then like just after I do it, nah, I'm using it. You lost. I'm using it. You lost. You so um, if you can just wait, I'll cut my stuff and yeah. She's got this thing, man. She doesn't like touching raw meat. Well, look what you're doing. <laughs> Take this. I'm ruining the patty. <laughs> she doesn't like touching raw food. Raw chicken, raw fish, nothing. You know, and I like to get stuck I've in I've got man. this thing that is going to make me feel ill. <laughs> like, no matter how many times I wash my hands. All right, anyway, so I've done that and I'm going to take my little mixture and I'm just going to literally rub it on top like so. All right, I'm going to... Yeah. We can both brew at the same time, technically. No, yeah, because I'm being nice, I'm being generous. Oh, very kind of you, considering I'm the one that turned the grill on to you. Guys, if you could smell this, it smells fantastic. You ready for me to, to put my patties on? Okay, so now I've got my burgers on. 
I'm now gonna turn on all of this. All right, my black beans on a low heat, my peppers and onions up slightly higher because I want these to go crispy, and my sweet corn. This is good. Even though I might be a bit erratic when I'm cooking, there's one thing I do have over Shen, and that is I clean up after myself while I'm cooking. Fact or fiction? That is true. Yeah, okay. I'll give it to you. <laughs> so now I'm just um, organizing what else I'm gonna add to my burger and my chipotle mix. So I've got a lime and all natural, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> all natural Greek yogurt I'm gonna make a nice little dressing out of. Avocado I'm gonna add to the burger along with a tomato or tomato. <laughs> Now I'm all for natural seasoning, so I'm gonna add a little bit of basil and some black pepper to my onions and red pepper. Could he be any more noisy? Hey, 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 I'm trying to clean up. <laughs> right. What does he think this is? Basil. So what I really want is I wanna get really crispy onions and really crispy peppers. I like it like that. Oh, that nice. Doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Everything is cooking as it should. All right, so timing is everything. And uh, since I'm going to be adding my apples, yes, I'm adding apples and I'm adding grapes to my uh, Super Bowl, I'm not sure when to do it. This is where I always get mixed, mixed up. Shan, what would you advise? What's your, sorry, what's it trying to do? So, uh, I've got my stuff on the grill. Yep. I need to add my apples and stuff mm -hmm. to my super salad, but I don't want the apples to go brown while I'm waiting for it to mm -hmm. So what I would do, me being me and organized, I would have them sliced up, have them in a bowl and put them in the fridge. I'm not gonna do that. Why? Because we're gonna do it my way. No, I'm joking. That sounds good, cool. <laughs> I just want two clean slices like that that I'm gonna plonk into my burger. All right, my avocado, which is also going into my burger. I love avocado. It makes everything better. Have you ever had like a chicken and avocado sandwich? Oh my God, amazing. Now, I don't know how you guys cut avocado, but I just go straight in, all the way around. Because Sim, you cut yours different, huh? To how I do it. Like I'm gonna be using avocado. And then I oh, just wait, 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 wait. Slice it. Oh, wait, wait, what kind of scam is this? That's my technique. I showed you that technique. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. About I do it different. That this is, is the technique that I showed her how to do. That is such so a lie. So cut it down the middle, and she's done. Why are you trying to take over no, because my you're avocado? You're trying to show them my technique. Can you see the hate? Pass it off as yours. Right it's not yours. This I is my technique. This. I showed you this. So basically, you slice it. Once you've sliced it in half, you um, you know take it apart. Then cut down the, the middle in the sections. You <laughs> then get a spoon and you scoop it out, and that gives you segments. You are so funny. How dare she try and steal my idea that I showed her, that I stole from Chipotle? I mean, that I made up. <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to make my dressing for my Chipotle. So, one lime wedge. I've got my natural Greek yogurt. Two. Squeeze the lime in. Nice. It's just nice and refreshing to have on top of anything, you know? Salad. Sim basically nicks the hottest part of the grill, so my turkey burgers haven't been cooking, but they are nearly done. Couple pecans, and a couple walnuts. Alright, my turkey burgers are done. 
Okay. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. Okay. Juicy, crispy, tasty kale. All right, so nice big handful of kale. So we're eating now. Pretty much finished. Pretty much salad. I'm literally Keep just about to uh, put my buns and my tomatoes on the grill because my burgers are pretty much done. So I just want to toast them a little bit. So now I've got the avocado, you're gonna see the professional way to get the avocado. Are you watching? Are you watching? Okay, are you watching? All right, let's do this. All right, so slice it down the middle, uh -huh. like so. There you go. We're gonna split into two, like so. Look at that, nice and clean, clean cut. Yeah, just slice, slice, slice. Fantastic, just like that. Okay, grab this. Huh? See, see, just professionalism. And again, we're gonna slice, <laughs> slice, and slice. Except we're gonna slice down the middle so we can get those cubes. There we go. We're gonna leave this one for now. I don't have a spoon with me right now, so I'm just gonna squeeze it. Actually, no, there we go. Watch this, watch this, watch this. You watch it? Look at that. Look at that. And we empty that into the salad. We've got our avocado and we've got our kale. Now, next, we're gonna add some nuts. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we're gonna add our chicken and shrimp. There we go. A little bit of chicken, a little bit of shrimp. Oh, look at that. Smells delightful. We've got our apples and grapes. See, I don't do things too structured, man. It's just is what it is, you know. My burgers are done. My buns are lightly toasted. All right, my grilled tomato on top. Okay, so right here I have some blue cheese, and I also have some crumbled goat's cheese as well. So we're gonna have a combination of both. The blue cheese has a very strong flavor. I love it. So it's like Stilton, strong, mm, strong so cheese. So good, huh? This might not look pretty, guys, but trust me, it tastes amazing. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, so look. Is that the blue cheese? That's the blue cheese. Love blue cheese. Not too much, just a little, you know. And uh, I'm gonna add some goat's cheese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the good stuff, there huh? There go. <laughs> some dried cranberries. This is add, add texture, that's the thing. Food's not just about flavor, it's about texture. You know, so when you have like yeah. avocado, you have that, you know, a different texture. When you add um, dry cranberries, you're gonna get a chewy texture. So it's all about texture as well, you know? Mm. Uh, I like to jam pack my burgers. You said to put sweet corn on. I'm now going in with some gherkins as well. Oh yeah. And uh, we're almost there. Same. Last thing to add is oh, some... Uh, light balsamic vinegar and depending on your tastes a little bit of olive oil just to wet it up a bit oh there we go my super bowl oh jesus christ that smells so nice <laughs> that smells amazing so guys i've got whole grain rice cooked on here already i've got my black beans that i cooked earlier Lovely. I've got my sweet corn. I'm gonna put here. And then oh, my lovely fried onions and peppers. I'm gonna put here. And last but not least, my delicious homemade mix of Greek yogurt, lime, and olive oil. I'm gonna put a dollop right here. Done as well. Oh, hold on. You got a. There we are. <laughs> Looks good, huh? You got my Power Bowl. Burgers. You got my guilt free turkey burgers. 
Chipotle mix. This looks banging. Oh, it's yeah. taste amazing. These could actually go together for like a barbecue, right? Yeah, they could. They'll look good. Oh my god. There we have it. Mm -hmm. uh, delicious meals. Something we can make on a daily basis, quite quick. Mm -hmm. You know, just have to have the ingredients ready. And um, tastes amazing. Like, trust me, this is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no other way to describe it. All the flavors, the grapes, yep. the apples, the kale, just a mix of, of flavors. And, and those you burgers are gorgeous it. as well. Thank you. You can customize it. This is how I like it, guys. You can add garlic, you can add mustard, you can add tomato sauce, whatever you like. I just like it quite clean. I can taste the avocado, I can taste the tomato, I can taste the turkey, you know? I like it like this and I get all them flavors, so. Let us know if you enjoyed us cooking and we'll do more for you. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll make some more cooking shows for you. We and cook every day, so yeah. we've got so many recipes up in our head. <laughs> Please.